Hey, what is up, you derpy dotlers? Today I'm coming at you with a pretty interesting deck. It is Counterbox, um, Counterbox Zorark, uh, attacking Zorark deck. Um, I actually don't know too much. I don't know what to think of this deck personally. It's pretty fun to play. I don't think it's a super competitive deck right now. Uh, but it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. You got a lot of do different guys you play in here to, to tackle a bunch of different situations Allowing you to beat a bunch of different decks, which is pretty cool So that all combined with the fact that it is a Zorark deck uh, Makes it a pretty fun deck to play. Um, so I thought I'd go ahead and show it off to you guys here today it's My current build on the deck. I'm not really quite sure if I should be going in a different direction or not But this is what I've been running with as far as the deck goes. And it's been working out. Okay. I've been winning games with it and been having a ton of fun with it. So let's go ahead and uh, get into some games. All right, I have no idea what we're playing against here. Our opponent flipped over a drill burr. And yeah, I got no idea where that goes from there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and grab an N here, turn one. Our hand is not very good. Um, if we had like anything else to go with it, we would have probably grabbed a Bridget, but uh, when you only got via secret, via secret, counter game or counter energy, something, something, uh, we need to do something a little bit different. It did not improve that much, but we can ultra ball away these two. Um, get ourselves a Zerua. Ooh, we prized two Zerua. That's never great. Um, we can get ourselves a Zerua, and, we'll just, and again on the next turn, I guess. Go ahead and throw down Zerua and pass over to our opponent and see what uh, what happens with that drill burr. I have no idea what to expect at this point. There's a trainer's mail. Um, yeah, I see the drill burr. I don't see anything else. There's a Juniper. All right. That is a start. And another Trainer's Mail. Or a Field Blower. That's not going to do anything right now. Let me read the first attack. Shuffle a card from your discard pile into your deck. He's got a Sky Pillar. And then there is the Juniper. Max Potion as well. Okay. Adventure Bag. They are weak to grass, um, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think we play a grass attacker to actually one-shot potential Excadrill. Like I assume that it will go to an extra goal. There's an adventure bag, um, so I'm thinking probably focus. All right, there's the focus sash. All right, this game is gonna be uh, this one's gonna be a rough one probably. There are the. Focus sashes. There's an acro bike. I don't know how we're gonna handle this one at all. I don't know. We're not really equipped to beat a fighting deck with focus sashes uh, very well. I mean, I guess we could beat it, but we're not. We're not gonna do a great job at beating it. Uh, I don't even know what I want to attack with here because I don't know what their deck does. I don't actually know what the uh, Excadrill possibly could do. Um, so I have no idea what to do here. I think we're gonna go ahead and play down a bunch of stuff. Skyfield. Evolve to Zorark and then it did a change and uh, see some new cards here Give me some new options All right but Anyway egg is always cool and I'll take it And then I think we will pass I could calm actually for a uh, Coco so I have the pivot set up and play actually i think i do want to do that so i then i can decide based on what my opponent does on their turn how i want to respond because right now i have no idea how i would ever want to respond to my opponent's uh current setup so i'm gonna need a lot more information on their deck before i know what the heck i want to do this is one of those situations where it's like we're definitely not going to be playing perfectly for what our opponent's playing because we have no idea what their deck does as the another juniper um yeah without knowing what our opponent's deck actually does all right, shuffle four cards from your discard pile into your deck. Okay, so it is a mill deck. It is Excadrill uh, Control. Uh, and there's a pass. All right, now I know what's up. I'm not afraid of being knocked out. Excadrill Control is what it is. So we just need to start swinging as soon as possible. There's a Guzma. There's another Zorark. Um, Propagate again. We already have N in the discard pile, so we just need to get our hands on a Via Seeker. And as we start swinging, we'll be fine. So they probably play into Juniper. I don't even know what their game plan is then. Um, don't need to use the Guzma now, but I think I'd rather hold up the Floatstone for later and use the Guzma while I can. 
Um, so we're gonna send this guy up. I maybe should have actually gone with the flying flip, actually. Right, he's beating, knock him out. Well, not actually knock him out. We'll hit him for 120. All right, yeah, now we know what's going on so we can make a lot better uh, judgment calls on this one. <laughs> I maybe should have gone with flying flip though. Um, yeah, because sometimes, I mean, they might be playing stuff like last chance potion. All right, I should have gone with the flying flip here for sure. Juniper. Yeah, we should have flying flip because it would break the focus ashes, but I guess he plays max potions as well, so that maybe wouldn't have even done anything anyways. Uh, but it would have set up the other one to be knocked out, which I think is a little bit better than the current situation. Right? So I can go floatstone active, retreat, flying flip. I'll have to like pivot between Zorak and flying flip anyways, so this will be fine. There's an enhanced hammer. Yep, yeah, here we go. And so it begins the uh, endless amount of uh, stuff. There's the rototiller for four. So it's like uh, resource management, but you have focus sashes and you get four cards back instead of three. So maybe slightly more efficient. I'm not convinced this would actually be better than just a control Orangaru deck, um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not also convinced the other way, the other way either. I'm gonna do some trading. Um, maybe you want to set up another Zorark. They're gonna do some trading here. Get off a of flying flip. Oh, that's why they play Sky Pillar as well. Uh, is to beat that. We don't want to actually discard any of our other cards because we eventually want to end them all back into the deck. Because I'm sure they play something like Handiwork or Bell of a Bryson Man to kind of mill our cards. All right, we got nothing. Um, well, not as intended. Um, I think I will set up another Zorark here. I'm gonna keep the muck around. I think the Entei is the one that's probably never gonna be useful out of this hand. Let me go ahead and grab ourselves a, well, we gotta grab the Ditto, I guess, because the Rue is gone. We have Special Charge, we have 3 DC, and two Counter Energy, so we have plenty of energy to get the job done. Um, yep, pass over to our opponent. And yeah, we're not gonna discard any cards, because eventually we wanna end all the cards back into the deck. I'm sure they play, like I said, I'm sure they play like a Handiwork or something. There's a Gladion. I'm sure they play a Handiwork or something to uh mill out our deck this seems pretty tough i'm not gonna lie this seems like a tough matchup for sure uh we're doing our best we'll do our best um but this is pretty annoying i'm not gonna lie the excadrill dude is really 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 annoying um and we haven't even gone through one of, we haven't even drawn a prize card yet we haven't even gone through one of these guys yet we've been we've been chilling here uh not attacking yeah definitely gonna look for a flying flip break these focus ashes and we can pivot with floatstone and the free retreat of, fly, of uh, Tapu Koko. I think we go between Zorak and Flying Flip. Flying Flip to break the Focus Sash. Zorak to not take the knockout. We do also play a Field Blower. Um, so if we ever find that, we can go for that as well. We'll just Field Blower away the Focus Sashes and then just actually hit the hit the one shot on these Excadrills. Um, that would also be pretty good if we can get that. More cards going back into our opponent's deck. All right, draw. All right, propagate trade propagate trade so on and so forth repeat the process over and over and over again until we find what we need neither of those is what we need do it again propagate and trade away the propagate and we whiffed again we're not gonna play anything else down i don't think i think we just oh we have another zork one more one more one more oh no we got it again Propagate <laughs> and trade again. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the counter energy here because if we do draw into both counter energy, then we can uh, line flip. And that is what we wanna do. Uh, looking like what we wanna do next time we have an available thing to do. It looks like it wants to be a flying flip. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Put the counter energy there. There is a juniper from our opponent they got a nest ball they had a nest ball and a focus sash but chose not to do it that makes me think that maybe their other two drillers are prized um it's interesting oh now they're using a nest ball oh they're not gonna get anything though interesting interesting that they're not nest balling for anything there's a battle compressor i assume we'll see all of their important supporters hit the discard pile here so they'll have access to them through via seeker um no they just got rid of an extra drill interesting that they're like limiting themselves to just two just two excadrill here i don't know why they're not being uh i don't know i'm confused by it focus ash into the hand from the adventure bag another trainer's mail i mean they might just deck out actually 
their deck might they might just actually deck out if we pressure them enough there's a random receiver juniper yeah they they uh they might deck out maybe they have some infinite combo at the end of the game that i'm not aware of which is possible i guess there's some like infinite uh excadrill combo once you deck out that you can you can pull off there's a rototiller setting up they haven't gotten back their sky pillar yet um all right still haven't gotten it back last chance potion but we plan to fly and flip draw oops drop a game we should be hitting dces any uh any day now there's three left in the deck only a 13 card deck left so yeah any any second now we should be seeing the uh the what's it called <laughs> any second now we should be seeing dces they should be coming up real nine cards left three dces any day please i actually need to hit a dce here it's vital to be existing in this game much longer there is the second counter energy and i am going to pass once again to my opponent i guess i could have cold wrist or something a little bit earlier but now i'm kind of just waiting to draw into everything i mean i could have like i don't want to attach the counter energy because it's not very useful right now for us it doesn't actually do anything to have the counter energy i could have cold wrist maybe a turn or two ago but i kind of just wanted to like well my hand is huge so why not just keep my huge hand but uh i guess when our opponent actually just doesn't do anything uh <sighs> We kind of would, we kind of wish we had done something else. There's another Juniper. Once again, they're getting rid of all of their cards. I still have no idea what their game plan is. Uh, they do play a Life Dew, which is interesting. But I guess when like I pop a Focus Ash, I can put a Life Dew on it um, and save it for later. Um, there is the Roto Tiller again. Getting back their important cards, I assume. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, apparently they have no idea what they want. They're the only one who knows how to play this deck, I assume. I've never seen this deck before in my life. Okay. Do they go to the bottom or do they shuffle in? Shuffle. Alright. Okay, there it is. A little late. Treat and then just fly and flip. All right, now this sets up both of the current Excadrills in play to be knocked out, so they would have to put down two Max Potions and Enhanced Hammer are active. There's two Max Potions in the discard pile. I guess they could have that combination combination of cards, um, but it wouldn't really bother me at all. Um, yeah, there's an Enhanced Hammer. It's kind of expected. Um, hopefully they don't... Oh, I did not see what that was. I think it was a Looker. Um, yeah, Looker, draw three. Oh, so this is their end game goal, is they go... Looker, they put four cards back in the deck via Seeker, Looker. Four cards back in the deck via Seeker, Looker. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool there. Yeah, that's actually pretty dope. Um, so it looks like they probably did prize uh, two Drillbur in this one because they haven't benched any other Drillbur, and it seems like they're out of Drillbur. Um, but yeah, that's a cool uh, cool late game lock, lock a roo they got going on there. That's actually pretty dope, not going to lie. I actually really like that. That's actually super cool. And then there we go. Put all that back. And I'm sure he has a looker in hand or a V seeker for a looker. You can draw three and repeat. And once again, we did not get a DCE. We got one off our top deck last turn. Great. Whiffs one here. All right. We're going to try and get a DCE again or the special charge. Um, that's cool. So DCE to the Zorak. I'm afraid of getting milled out though. So we definitely have to shuffle our hand in our deck. Um, Good. And our opponent, they have an eight card hand. And then we get access to the cards they put in. I think I am just going to go propagate trade again. I'm going to get that special charge right now. So I have extra energy in my deck. Um, and maybe I will end them. They've been kind of building up a hand for a while. Be less cards for us. And then propagate trade. Last card in my deck apparently is the special charge. So we need to go get that before we do anything else. And there it is, special charge, DCEs, shuffle into the deck, and then I'm just going to go ahead, uh, I'll be a secret, let's see how the end goes, let's see how the end works out here, be a secret, and they do have an 8 card card hand, make it a 6 card hand, and take the knockout with the riotous beating, I still have not gotten their sky pillar back, don't think they play a field blower, um, 6 got a DC for next turn, we have trades as well, so should be fine. 
Um, they are getting pretty close to running us out of energy. Um, we definitely need to find some other stuff to deal with that. Take this knockout. Got around the focus ash with the flying flip. All right. Right is beating knockout. What do we get? It is the dowsing machine. So that is going to be dowsing machine for special charge. Which will give us two more DCEs to work with. So that's pretty good. I can work with that. Sounds good to me. There is the max potion on the extra drill once again. And fighting energy. A and via seeker for a well, looker or sycamore at this point. I don't know if they'll want to keep their hand. Oh, Cynthia. All right. That's even better. All right, so now we're just going to hit this one really hard. Our field blower appears to be prized. Unless we don't play a field blower, and I completely forgot that we don't play a field blower. For sure, our field blower is prized, which would have been really nice to have. Um, well, we're going to have to opt for not. There's the drill bird grab, um, but they are going to need to... All right, there's a focus. I was going to say, they are going to need to focus ashes. Well, now we can flying flip. Now we can retreat back to Coco, flying flip, break both the focus ashes, um, and we'll get closer and closer to our opponent just having to actually just run out of cards. Um, because they have to keep setting up extra drills, keep double max potioning, but then have energy for them as well. Yeah, eventually I think they'll just actually run out of cards in this way. Um, maybe not, maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, we're gonna retreat, flying flip, do some trades. Um, because we do need to find, and I'm sure they'll have an enhanced hammer at least for us on the next turn. So we're gonna need, um, to find another DCE. And we do have the dowsing machine for the, uh, special charge when it comes down to it. Um, but yeah. That's gonna be our game plan. Going to the flying flip because it'll it sets up two focus sashes as opposed to just right of speeding breaking one focus sash. Um, so yeah, flying flip, right of speeding. Still have not gotten back there. What's it called? That's fine with me though. Draw, treat. We do want to do some trades here because uh, there's two DCE in the deck and eh, I kind of want DCEs. Um, and we also want a via seeker. It doesn't. I haven't seen a handy work from them, but I would be surprised if they didn't play it. Um, yeah, I'd be surprised if they didn't play a Handy Work or a Bellabot and Bryson Man, for sure. I would expect them to play one of those, for sure. Right, there's the Max Potion, but now they need to get an Energy back. So I feel like eventually they run out of cards to be able to keep up with this, this chain here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they'll actually always be able to have enough cards through Rototiller to keep Excadrills in play. And then, but I feel like they should run out of cards eventually. We'll see here. Um, they don't really have infinite cards, that's for sure. There's the Via Seeker. Um, because to keep extra drills, keep being, to keep extra drills constantly in play, plus removing my energy and healing to prevent the break of focus sashes, it just kind of seems like a lot to constantly have. But I could be wrong. Maybe they can constantly have it. There's the Cynthia. Um, yeah, they definitely prize through drillers. There's a max potion on the bench one. See, now they're down to just 10 cards total. I'm going to fly and flip again. I'm going to break both focus sashes. Um,. They're going to have to Rototiller. They could get Max Potion, Max Potion, Energy. Or Max Potion, Max Potion, Energy Retrieval. And then a way to find the cards. And then they have to find the cards on the turn. And it's possible for them to whiff a card because of how their deck plays. They didn't grab Enhanced Hammer that time, but they might have a second Enhanced Hammer in hand. All right, we drew pretty good. There's a Flying Flip. Just pressure both of them again. Uh, and I think we just repeat this process, and eventually we will catch them not being able to... Uh, do everything on a turn and then we'll get a knockout there's the looker for three but maybe they're going to go up in cards i have to just kind of see how this one plays out we might, might just concede real soon because we might just not be able to beat this actually max potion max potion fighting energy okay so that time they repeated the loop but now they're down they have uh five six ten card ten cards total again we'll see if they can do the loop again if they pull it off again without losing a card. One, two, three, four. I draw. Fine flip. They have 10 cards total. How many cards do they have to play down to keep going? They do get two energy back every time they use the energy retrieval. There's Via Seeker, Looker. And they play the Looker. Draw three. They have four, five, six, seven, eight. So they had 10 cards total last time. They have less cards this time. That means we're pressuring them out of cards. There's the second max potion. Down to six cards in hand. They need an energy, but they have the energy retrieval. They get two. And I attach one. They're going to go to ten cards again. So they're not running out of cards. So I think they maybe actually have this infinite loop here at the end. I think this is actually maybe a thing. That, that, that sky pillar. Uh-oh. 
I'm just gonna swing really hard here. Right is beating up. Break the focus sash. Two, two, or 110 on the Excadrill. I guess this works fine as well because then we can flying flip, knock this one out, and then set up the other one. We know they have a max potion though, but they don't have a focus ash for it. There's the looker. They draw all the cards. Three, six, nine cards in hand. Last, they do have a last chance. Oh, we knew they had max potion as well. Last chance potion is better for them. I don't think they have a focus ash for it though. They discard a Pokemon. I'll get rid of Buzzwell there. I don't think Buzzwell is going to be very useful. But they do have a focus ash for him. All right, they're at six cards in hand. And then Rototiller for four more. Back to ten. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with Riot's Beating again and see what happens. See if they can actually get out of this. Uh, they have Sky Pillar now. They'll eventually be able to keep sticking Sky Pillar. So I think we just go in with Riot's Beating. There's Enhanced Hammer. We could go Skyfield one last Flying Flip. Um, I'm going to get two more Flying Flips out of it, actually. Go Riot's Beating. I'm curious as to what happens when I go Riot's Beating here. Are they able to, like keep the continuous loop up versus me knocking out that. I, I assume their deck is calculated to be able to do that. So I just want to see it happen. As we potentially get bodied here by the Excadrill deck as they have reached their late game loop. Max Potion, Last Chance Potion, or Last Chance Potion, Focus Sash, Enhanced Hammer, and they'll go back up to 10 cards. And that's it. They're going to get us eventually. I'm just going to go ahead and concede this one and give it to our opponent. What an interesting Excadrill... That's an interesting deck. That is definitely an interesting deck. But there's no way we can beat it, so there's no point in me just staying here. Um, yeah, that's a really cool deck. I got nothing else to say. That's a cool deck from our opponent. All right, we're up against a Mewtwo box in this one. Uh, but it looks like they have a pretty slow start going on. All right, that's a really cool top deck. Foul play is not great. Muck is super good in this matchup, though. So we'll see if we can just utilize the Muck to pretty much just win the game. Nope, our ditto is prized. All right, so we're gonna have to actually try in this one then. Um, could have been as simple as send it into the active and the game is over, but yeah, not gonna happen this time. We're gonna have to bridge it for double Zerua, and then I kind of don't want to lose my Tapu Koko, so I'm gonna maybe grab something else. We go double Zerua egg, send egg into the active actually. I wouldn't hate that. Um, could just also go triple Zerua. And then plan to attack with right is beating for the turn, but I would kind of want to just like get the one shot with this guy. You two, like that's kind of cool. But we need a lot to pull that off. So let's just go triple Zerua here actually. Yeah, let's go triple Zerua. It's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, our opponent went attach pass. So I feel like we're probably in a pretty good spot no matter what. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like it's gonna be hard for our opponent to actually uh, do enough to the point where we actually care. Um, when they go attach pass into attach pass. All right. Oh, there's another Zerua. Wand Zorak on the way. Trade away Muck first. One, two. I'm going to go ahead and communication away the Zerua. Head and grab myself a Lele. Oh, we only have Dede in here. Um, <laughs> just grab the egg. I have to go with the Dede change. That's fine. <clears throat> we'll lose the dowsing machine because I want to put the float stone on the Lele. Um, but I'm actually overall fine with this. It's really not that big of a deal. Probably won't need it. Go ahead, discard it. Just want to see some more cards. Going to go ahead and Ultra Ball away these two. Grab myself the egg. Um, where's he at? There he is. Going to trade the egg and then hopefully find another thing that's reasonable to Ultra Ball away. And then uh, Ultra Ball away. Yeah, I mean, Ultra Ball. Ooh, the choice band is actually really good in this matchup. Hmm. I don't even really want to attack. Wait, is the choice man actually really good? How much is the, the what's it called? The Mew could copy. Right is beating for 120. It can go for 300. Yeah, so choice band actually pretty good. Special charge, I think we can get away without actually because we just need to kill like two Mewtwo's to take the knot to like win the game. So I'm going to go like that. Um, yeah, maybe I could have got rid of the uh, Via Seeker instead, but I'm going to go like this. <clears throat> Feels a little greedy, but uh, I think it'll be fine. Trade away the egg. Some more cards. Horus is really good. Uh, gonna go on course. I don't even really need to hit this Latios this turn, so I don't even think I'm going to. I'm just gonna plan to knock out both these over the next two turns. And I'm gonna go ahead and pass to my opponent here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna knock out the two Mewtwo's. I think that's gonna be my game plan. Use the Mew, knock out two Mewtwo's. I think that's what I wanna do. I'm down for that. Let's see what our opponent has here. There we go, retreating. They can copy the Tag Purge the knockout here on our coco uh but that's fine with me we're gonna get the knockout with the mew 
and uh, then knock out this with a Mew. We play two Rescue Stretchers so we can recover our counter boys very easily and efficiently. And it should be a pretty clean game from there. Start with some trades here. Three trades to be exact. Also got a teammates. That's also pretty good. So we'll pretty much be fully set up here uh, to do uh, whatever we want. Uh, another Zerua. Also very good to get into that fourth Zorak eventually. Trade away another one. Yeah, so I, well, we just drew the Pokemon. So actually, I don't even know if we're playing a supporter this turn because we can just go like this, this, um, propagate. I may as well play the teammates. I'll go ahead and Ultra Ball away these two. Grab myself a... Well, I don't know. Buzzwool, I guess? Uh, my plan is just to attack with Mew again on the following turn, so... Three, six... I can get rid of both of these just by putting them in play. It seems reasonable. Play the teammates. Grab myself a Stretcher and... Guzma to make sure I can chase him. If I have to, if they knock me out with something else, retreat. Or if they don't knock me out at all, then uh, I just want to be able to Guzma. There we go. Right is beating with the Mui X. Draw three prize cards. And then we have the Guzma set up for the next turn to bring up the turn. There is our ditto for our muck. Not going to be able to use that in this one, unfortunately. Would have been great to have uh, turn two muck against Mewtwo's perfection ability, but it's fine if we whiff. It's really not that big of a deal. Take that knockout. Now we're eyeing up this guy. Should be easy knockout as well. There's getting rid of our float zone. That's kind of annoying, um, but we currently have a DC set up already. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, so we're gonna get rid of this, get rid of Dedene, and probably get rid of the Buzzwool here. If we're gonna, I guess Entei will be slightly more impactful we can utilize one of them. Um, neither of them seem that ridiculously good, but I think the Buzzle would be slightly better, or the Entei will be slightly better than the Buzzle at this point, because if they knock out our Mewtwo, or our Mew EX here, then uh, we won't actually be able to get the knockout anyways. Ooh, there's bring up our dude. They're going to Via Seeker for the Guzma back. Uh, I guess they're afraid of our potential Giraffe. Uh, there's another Mewtwo. So all we need is a Choice Band here. There it is. Choice Band to the Mewtwo, or the Mew. Guzma up the Mewtwo, and then knock out the Mewtwo. And Mew GX with our Mew. Super good in this matchup. I didn't even realize this guy's good again. That's pretty cool. And that's going to do it for this video on the Counter Box deck. We didn't use a whole lot of our Counter guys. But a really interesting game one. I tried to set up, play myself into the best position possible, but it turns out they do have an infinite loop. And then in this game, well, we did utilize one of our Counter guys, which is the Mew EX, which is a counter to the Mew and Mewtwo. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a like if you're enjoying the content. Be sure to subscribe. Um, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And peace.